to Freedom Today. I'm so excited about our show. Our guest today needs very little introduction. Kay Arthur. If you've studied the Bible at all, you've heard her name, I'm certain of it. She is in every country in the world. She has been around the globe sharing the good news of the gospel. She has encouraged women like you and I across this nation to really understand the in-depth study of the Bible. I'm so very honored to have her here today as my special guest. I want you to enjoy today's show. One word I can say about Kay Arthur, transparent. She leaves no stone unturned. You will be amazed as you hear her personal story, her testimony that you may not have been aware of. She hides nothing. The truth of the gospel has radically, radically changed her life and set her on a course that has changed millions of lives across this world. So please join me as we listen to her personal journey, Kay Arthur on Freedom Today. at a function the other night where you were honored for <laughs> your <laughs> for your many many years mm. of service and labor of love for women mm. it was such an honor to be in that room and I just it what you have done across this world for women amazes me you've written so many books you've you've given so much rich rich, rich wisdom. Share with us today, you've got several projects that are close to your heart mm -hmm. uh, as Silver's Refined. Can you share yes. a little bit about that book to start us? Yes, <gasps> as, Silver, uh, is, as Silver's Refined is a book about learning to embrace life's disappointments. And as you know that uh, I was surprised last night. I mean, I was totally, <laughs> taken <laughs> off base and, and, and that, because I was there to present an award to Jennifer O'Neill. And, um, but you know, when we taught that morning for women and Christian, Christian women in media, and uh, just telling about what we're going through and, and the trials and, and everything, I think that sometimes people don't understand that if I go through a trial, if I go through a testing in a relationship or a, a testing of my faith and that, uh, if I go through a temptation and um, that, that God is using that in his sovereignty, he has filtered it through his fingers of love. And, and I would liken it to the fact that my ring represents us. And God has us in his hand. And he makes that clear, especially in John chapter 10. And when he says, no one can pluck you out of my hand. So God has us in his hand. And everything that comes into our life Anything that touches me, anything that's said to me, any look or anything, God in his sovereignty 
has filtered it through his fingers of love. Mm -hmm. and, and he has a purpose in it. And so that purpose is to work in my life so that when I finally see him face to face, I'm not ashamed, mm -hmm. but I'm more like Christ. And so I can hear his well done. So as silver refined opens up with an introduction about the refining of silver. Mm -hmm. Do you have yes. time for me to tell I you about love it? it. Okay. <laughs> and you see it in Jeremiah, mm -hmm. you see it in, in other places. And he's saying the bellows are, are blowing, getting the fire going and everything. And, and yet I'm, I'm trying to refine you and it's not working. And what happens is silver is mined out of the earth and it's mixed with all sorts of ore. So what the silversmith has to do is he has to take that ore and he has to hammer it <laughs> and break it up into small pieces so it will fit in a crucible. And that silver has a lot of dross around it, other metals and things like this that he wants to get rid of. So he'll build a fire. This is in biblical times now. Mm -hmm. They would build a fire that put the crucible in the fire so that the uh, ore would melt. And then after it melted, a certain uh, bit of the dross would come to the surface and the silversmith would scrape it off. He'd build the fire a little bit hotter. He'd hire, uh, put in more wood. And so then the fire gets hotter. At a hotter temperature, more dross is released. And he usually does that about, it's as silver is refined seven times, God says, mm -hmm. in a furnace of fire. And then he talks about how his word purifies us. And, and so then uh, after seven, each time, what he does is when he scrapes it off, then he looks in it. And he's looking in the silver because that's what you and I look in mm -hmm. when we look in a mirror. It's a piece of glass with silver on the back. The purer the silver, the finer the silver, the clearer mm. our reflection. Yes. It's not blurry. It's not like a tin, the old, yes, you know, the yes. used pieces of tin before. And so he would look in the silver and he'd know if it needed more fire because he couldn't see a clear image of himself. But when he finally looks in and he sees a clear image of himself mm -hmm. in the silver, then he knows that it's purified. He knows that the work is done. And so I use the illustration and entitled the book as Silver Refined, Learning to Embrace Life's Disappointments. And I open it up with an illustration from my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't come to know Jesus Christ until I was 29 years old. By then I was married. I was divorced. I never planned on it. It was my idea. I was married to a man that was bipolar. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know it. And he didn't know it. And so we were having a hard time in our marriage. Uh, we were in um, a, a denomination that was very ritualistic. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so two of the ministers came over. Uh, I mean, I went to one for counseling. Another one came to the house. And my husband wouldn't go for counseling because he studied to be a minister and dropped out of seminary. And he said, I know all that. I don't need to go. So I went. And both of them never opened the word of, uh, of God, oh, Robin. Goodness. They never explained oh. to me what marriage was all about and how to uh, cleave together. And it means you're glued mm -hmm. together. And, and you take two pieces of paper, construction paper, and you glue them together. And when you pull them apart, some of this is over here and yes. some of this is over here. And, uh, and so didn't explain to me the effects of divorce. Mm -hmm. Didn't explain to me what it does to the children. Mm -hmm. Didn't explain to me, first of all, let alone what it does to the children or to us, what does it do to God? <sighs> God hates divorce. Yes, he, he hates the putting away of our mates. But anyway, they suggested I leave him, mm -hmm. which was wrong yes. advice. <laughs> yes. The second minister, I ended up everything short of going all the way with that man. Mm -hmm. 
you know when I finished counseling with him he came and stood up he was a tall man he put his arms around ki kissed me on the neck and said you sure are a good-looking gal oh my you know, goodness and and I just want to say can I say that something yes. to the audience yeah I just want to say to you that if you need counseling and you're a woman go to a woman mm. if you good need advice. counseling and you're a man go to a man good and advice. if any counselor or any pastor or anyone I just feel like we need to yes. say this because yes. I feel like there's someone listening mm. and 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 somebody's been making a move on you and you and he's telling you it's all right or he's telling you that it's part of your therapy or part of the counseling that is a lie straight from the pit of hell get out of there right now yes. so anyway critical yes. information it Kay, is because we expect our leaders to be perfect right and we trust without question yes that's in vital information yeah. and 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 we trust without question many times because we don't know God as intimately as we should know yes. him. We don't know his word. Yes. We're not confident. So they can take the scriptures and twist them. They can play on our emotions. Uh, they can play on our vulnerability. Yes, okay, one thing I know certain about your ministry, mm -hmm. you have strived for all of your ministries yes. to encourage women and men to get into the Word. Exactly. To get in. If they don't know it, that's yeah. when they are deceived. Exactly. Exactly. I love that about your, Thank that, you. about your ministry. Thank it's you. precious. We are Precept Ministries International. We exist to establish people in God's Word. In small group Bible studies in every state in the United States. In Bible studies all around the world. In 150 countries and 70 languages. We exist to establish people in God's Word through training workshops where you can learn inductive study techniques and skills to be an effective small group discussion leader. We exist to establish people in God's Word. As a domestic and international mission that disciples men, women, children, and students of all ages. In developing countries like Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, Zimbabwe. We exist to establish people in God's Word. We exist to establish people in God's Word by training children, teens, and students of all ages to study God's Word so they can stand in a lost generation. We exist to establish people in God's Word. We're a ministry funded by people whose lives have been changed by inductive Bible study. By becoming firmly grounded in truth. By walking closely with Jesus Christ. We exist to establish people in God's Word. As a training and conference center in Chattanooga to our training centers in Canada and South Africa and Romania. We exist to establish people in God's Word. As an author and publisher of Bible study materials and curriculum. As a training organization. As an international mission. As a student ministry. We exist to establish people in God's Word as a study tour guide to biblical lands where you can learn God's Word where Jesus walked. As a call center and bookstore. As a daily radio, television, and online teaching program. As a network of men, women, boys, and girls passionately studying the Word of God for themselves. As a pastor's resource and friend. We are Precept Ministries. We are Precept Ministries International. And we exist. We exist. We exist to establish people in God's Word. Won't you join us? Perhaps you're like our guest and you've had some struggles in your life and you're not exactly sure where to turn. Well, the good news is there is a place. There's a loving God waiting and ready. Waiting and ready to help you through your time of difficulty. He loves you more than you will ever know. He loves you so much that He sacrificed His own Son. So I'm here to tell you today, 
if you've suffered, if you've walked a road alone and frightened, if you've had a difficult season in your life, reach your hands to the hand of the Master. God is waiting, He's ready, and He's able. Will He change your circumstances? Perhaps not. But what He will do, He will get you through when it seems like there's no way. So I challenge you today, step out of your comfort zone and say yes, yes to God, and He will make your way straight. Do you love K. Arthur's teaching? Would you like to get up to speed on all of Precept Ministries news and events? Join us on Facebook by visiting precept.org slash Facebook. Receive daily biblical encouragement, special messages from Kay, updates on new products, event announcements, and get connected with others seeking the truth from God's Word. See you on Facebook. a little bit more about your story. Okay. Um, it's quite a story. And you know, I, I, I think there's a verse in the Bible and it says, and he called her beloved when there was nothing lovely about her. Mm. And what happened was I divorced my husband. I shook my fist in the face of God and I said, to hell with you. I'll see you around town. I had a knowledge of God. I had a degree of a respect for God, but I wanted to be loved. Mm -hmm. And there's so many women like that, you know, and there's so many men. Mm -hmm. And our ministry is not just to women, but it is teens, children, teens, men and women. And we are teaching them how to discover truth for themselves, how to study the Bible so that they know truth, so that when they get counseling, like I got, yes. they won't fall for it. Mm. And when the pastor, uh, the, the minister, you know, put his arms around me and then I went to stay with him in his house and his wife, and then here I am, mm. uh, you know, enticing, the, well, this man's enticing me and I'm being enticed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you just, you know, I all, uh, my pastor used to say, sin will take you farther than you ever wanted to go. Mm -hmm. It will keep you longer than you ever intended to stay. And it will cost you more than you ever expected to pay. Oh, how true. And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Bible says that we have sunk into a pit that we've dug with our own hand. So to make a long story short, I had two boys by Tom. Uh, I uh, left him. And I went out and I, like the song goes, I looked for love in all the wrong places. And so I became what I thought I would never become. And that's an immoral woman. Mm -hmm. Now I had those tendencies and, and that sensuality in my life, but I was restrained by the idea that I was going to be a virgin when I got married. Mm -hmm. Well, once I got married and left my husband, then I just went downhill. Uh -huh. And so I found myself in an affair with a man, didn't know he was married uh, when I started dating him, fell in love with him. He told me he was married. I, I, I loved him. And so, uh, and here I'm dragging my two boys around and, and then found out his wife was pregnant with her sixth child. Mm. Okay, isn't it, I wanna ask you, yeah. because so many of us start out looking for love yes. in all the wrong ways. Yeah. When Jesus. He's standing right there. Is standing there, ready He's to standing. give us his precious, pure exactly. love. Exactly. Tell me more. So anyway, <laughs> I, I thought someday I'm going to stand before mm -hmm. God. Yes. And I thought, I've got to change my life. Mm. So there was that fear of the Lord. I just wrote a 40 minute Bible study on the fear of God. But anyway, so there was that fear of God. And then I decided, okay, I'll get my act together. 
So uh, I'll stop. I'll stop being immoral. I'll stop doing this. But there's a verse, and and it's in Romans seven, and it says, "The good I wanted to do, I yes, couldn't yes, do, yes. and the evil I didn't want to do, I did." And he says, "Oh, wretched man that I am! Who will deliver me from this body of death?" Because the Bible says, if you commit sin, you become the slave of sin. Yes. So there's chains around you. You can't mm. do what you want to do. So on July sixteenth, on July fifteenth, I went to a party. Took my two boys and there were Christians there and a Christian that it is it's quite a story but anyway from my past said to me why don't you quit telling God what you want and tell him that Jesus is all you need mm -hmm. and I looked at him and I thought you're talking about Jesus <laughs> at a party how rude and so I got my I had a beautiful mink stole I threw it over my shoulders went out of the oh, house got home the next day I, I worked at Johns Hopkins on a research team I'm a nurse and I called the doctor and I said Dr. Cheek I'm sick and I can't come to work mm -hmm. and I thought but I have a sickness that no one can cure mm -hmm. I was in the kitchen and I was taking care of my boys and all of a sudden I got down like this and I said Mark honey mommy's got to be by herself will you let me be alone for just a minute and I ran upstairs and fell down beside my bed. <laughs> I love it. And I said, God, you can do anything you want mm -hmm. with me. Now, that's recognizing that God is God. And that's, you know, uh, throwing yourself at his feet and saying, I'm yours. Yes. You can do anything you want. And I didn't know it, but I got saved. <laughs> <laughs> If you're viewing the show today, please email me and let me know. Robin at robinbertram.org. We would love to hear from you. We have two websites, www.robinbertram.tv and www.freedomtoday.tv. Visit our websites. We have wonderful free resources. We have videos. We have testimonies, powerful, life-changing testimonies that you won't want to miss. Visit the websites. Email me today. We want to partner with you. Do you love Kay Arthur's teaching? Would you like to get up to speed on all of Precept Ministries news and events? Join us on Facebook by visiting precept.org slash Facebook. Receive daily biblical encouragement, special messages from Kay, updates on new products, event announcements, and get connected with others seeking the truth from God's Word. See you on Facebook. Perhaps you're wondering, how do I get to know Jesus? Everybody knows His name. Everybody knows He's an important figure. All religions, or most all religions, at least recognize Him. But how do you get that personal, that intimate relationship with Him? Can I share with you just a moment? The way you reach out to Jesus, first of all, you have to say, I'm a sinner. My life needs to change, and God, I need your help to do it. But you see, we have to admit our sins. All of us sin, and we all fall short of the glory of God. No one's perfect. No matter what you've done in your past, God is ready, willing, and able to say yes to you if you will say yes to Him. So my friend, start today. Reach out acknowledging your sin before Him acknowledging Him to Him that you've fallen short. Ask Him to help you and each and every day have that time that you come before Him and say, Father, today, Jesus, I submit this day to You. I accept Your will for my life. Now please wash away my sins and forgive me. And God will say yes. And you, my 
my friend, are part of the family of God. It's that simple. best-selling author of such books as A Woman's Passionate Pursuit of God, The Power of a Positive Mom, and The Power of a Positive Woman presents A Woman's Secret for Confident Living, a six-session DVD study for individuals or groups that reveals an exciting path to confident living through God's love and grace. Do you want a practical way to explore, know, and love boldly in God confidence? A Woman's Secret for Confident Living will bring a greater dimension to God's leading and hope in your life. A Woman's Secret for Confident Living by Carol Ladd. Hello, friend. I'm asking you, would you consider coming alongside with me and helping me share the good news of the gospel? You can do it from the comfort of your own living room. You can go to your computer, get on the website, and donate. You can help us take the good news of the gospel around the world. Yes, around the world. We're touching lives with the good news of the gospel. We are seeing lives radically changed, and you can be a part. With something as simple as pushing a button, you can receive the very same rewards. Will you join me, friend? Any amount would be greatly appreciated www.robinbertram.org or www.freedomtoday.tv. Come on, join in, and receive the award rewards waiting for you, the same, very same blessings. You will be blessed.